What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the FromTheArtNation.com Back at it again with another video with Dr. Tony Huge with another enhanced question series As first, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any fourth medical degree So whatsoever, I don't pretend to be a doctor, don't listen to what I say This is all my personal opinion and how I see things and what I would do to my body I always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementation The topic of today, which Dr. Tony Huge is going to answer is What would be the best testosterone and henthate protocol to follow for beginners um, as in dosages what syringes to use what would be the best length and so on so you know just give us a good idea of what kind of protocol to follow hey white boy from the yard so the best testosterone and anthate cycle for beginners all right i'm dr tony huge uh, dr tony huge youtube channel anabolic tv sarms book all that kind of stuff um, I uh, love in testosterone and anthate. It's my favorite ester of testosterone, other than testosterone suspension. I like enanthate because I can inject it um, as little as once every five days and keep fairly stable blood levels. But the ultimate is to inject it twice a week uh, or once every three or four days. And to, so you want to take the total dosage that we're doing that week and divide by two. So if we're going to do a first cycle, then we're probably looking at if we want to do like a moderate, mild first cycle, we're probably looking at 300 milligrams. That way we don't need any other compounds. We don't need an aromatase inhibitor. We don't need to deal with blocking DHT. We don't need any ancillaries. It just makes the cycle so easy. 300 milligrams is what a lot of people do to start. And uh, that means 150 milligrams twice a week. Usually testosterone and anthate comes in 250 milligrams per milliliter. So that means we're doing just a little bit uh, more than one milliliter, like 1.3 ml or something like that. Uh, so we're doing roughly like 0 0.65, 65% uh, of one ml. And my preference when we're doing low amounts like that is to use an insulin needle, which is a 29 gauge half inch, the larger insulin needle, and going into the muscle. So it's using area there's not a lot of fat, like the upper outer quadrant of the glute or on the shoulder. Those are my two favorite places to put it, although technically you could go in any muscle in the body. And uh, if it's the oil's moving slowly, then I heat it up. So I'll warm the vial before I extract it under the hot water. Make sure the hotter water's hot, it can go and just run the oil under it. And Or if, if I have a hard time injecting the oil, if it's a particularly thick one, which it shouldn't be, then I take the oil when it's in the syringe also and I run the syringe not the needle not the metal part that's actually going in my body but the syringe uh, barrel under the hot water and as far as length of the cycle uh, I think most people probably get the most benefits with the least amount of side effects and the least amount of uh, long medium term suppression if they were to do something like eight weeks like eight weeks at 300 milligrams but it's totally flexible and it depends on the person. And some people might want to go 12 weeks. Some people might want to go just six weeks. But understand that with an anthate, at a dosage of 300 milligrams per week, it's not going to be really fully out of the system until two weeks after taking it. So then we definitely want to do some kind of PCT after. You can follow pretty much any PCT online. We'll leave it for another video. But we probably, if we're doing 300 milligrams of test per week, I'd probably wait until a week after my last testosterone shot and then I would start PCT, just my own personal uh, approach. All right, thanks a lot, Tony, for answering these questions again. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them on my Instagram or in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Go out to FromTheArtNation.com. Go out to Anabolic TV. Subscribe there as well, by the way. Don't forget to leave a follow on Instagram. And that was it. Like I said, thanks a lot for watching again. I'm out.